The Anacostia Watershed Society uh, is a nonprofit. Uh, we're based in Bladensburg, Maryland, and we're uh, dedicated to helping the Anacostia River to become fishable and swimmable. In a city like this, where largely uh, there's a lot of impervious surface and storm drain systems, um, when somebody throws a piece of trash on the ground, uh, whenever it rains, it's going to wash that right down a storm drain, and that connects generally right to uh, a lot of streams like the one we're going to clean up today, Nash Run. We do lots of cleanups and uh, this, is, this is one of them and it, uh, it helps to engage the community and educate them about uh, not polluting, um, not, not throwing trash on the ground and keeping things out of the river that shouldn't be there and uh, it's just a band-aid. Um, we have to continuously do it but until we can educate people about not doing these things and they'd stop doing these things, um, we'll be out here helping out. I feel that we have a responsibility to others around us and the planet. I think people don't realize how much of an impact what we drop has and we're the ones who made the mess, we have a responsibility to clean it up. Well it's important for the environment to help with, uh, just help clean the river because it leads to other rivers and then to the ocean. I think it's important, it's a great cause, um, non-profit group, it's not a big agency. Um, I thought it would be a great way to do uh, some volunteer work for my internship and so I'm here. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize how much, you know, rivers and land um, tributaries that flow through our area impact our everyday lives from our drinking water supply to even getting local farm and farm areas and farmer markets. So I think it's very important to show that you're dedicated to wanting to keep the eco center that we live in clean. You know? And I'm from the eastern shore of Maryland, so I always have a soft heart for any projects that affect the shorelines, the bays, or any like the Anacostia tributaries. And you know, one thing that's different from the water on this, on the western shore versus where I'm from, you know, you, you're driving through the Southwest Freeway and you can smell it. That's not good. Where you know, like I said, when I'm going to, when I'm going back home and I'm hanging out on the shore, it's you know, it's pleasant, it's beautiful. You know, it's not an adverse you know effect when you're going down to the beach, unlike over here. <laughs> We couldn't do what we do without the volunteer force that we utilize and that's what we're really good at is, is getting people out and, and multiplying the effect that we can have individually just within our organization. So we, we count on thousands of volunteers every year for all the different programs that we do and um, we never want for help but we can always use more so it, it, it's gonna we couldn't have gotten to where we are today without the volunteers that we've had over the years and we can never have enough. I recommend volunteering definitely to all my friends and family. <laughs> the 15 pounds of trash I have right here in front of me it, it, it has to make a difference I don't see how it could have. Just in terms of the larger Chesapeake Bay watershed uh, the Chesapeake Bay and cleaning that up is a goal for everybody and from New York down to Virginia and um, Everywhere in between, and there's so many rivers and so many tributaries and large cities and towns, and there's tons of trash, <laughs> literally. So it's critical for everybody to get involved because all that stuff ends up down in the bay eventually.